Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Community Report 76 for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This was published on the 12th of June 2023. And it's the big one, guys. This is the one that has announced that the new waste update is available in the test branch in Steam. So what we're going to do now is just get straight in and see what the devs have got to say. It says, greetings, dear comrades of the Soviet Republic and all fans of our game. In our development journey, we have one direction to march forward. Our ultimate goal is to progress and bring the game to a full release. However, we must navigate through numerous challenges along the way. While we strive for progress, we must not forget that going in circles is one that might be a roundabout that is, is not the path we choose. <laughs> I think that includes the picture below. Moving down to the next paragraph, it says, Today we celebrate another significant milestone in our development progress. We are thrilled to announce the release of the open beta test for the waste management update. We invite those brave enough to take on this challenge to join us. Please keep in mind that this is the beta branch, and as more people participate in testing, we expect several bugs to surface. Nevertheless, what we are optimistic there are no critical issues will arise. And I can confirm that it is available in the test branch in Steam. It's just called Test. I've already updated my own version of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. So going forward on the channel now, the focus will be very much on the waste, uh, the new waste update. But what I intend to do is, because I don't know that much about it, I will be phasing it in and sharing my experiences with you guys. Any of you who follow the Three River series, what I'm going to try and do is maybe move over to the waste update over a period of time but how successful that's going to be will depend on well the update but more about that in a separate video so we're just going to move down to the next paragraph it says now let us delve into some not yet introduced highlights of this update firstly we introduce one lane roads to your republic please note that these roads are not available for trolley buses and trams but your road vehicles can now enjoy them we understand that there are many, many of you might desire more and due to certain limitations of our code, adding multi-lane roads is not a simple task. Nevertheless, you, we will have the ability to construct roundabouts and you can divide two lane roads into single lane sections uh, or merge two one, one, one lane roads. These roads will also facilitate the connection of buildings with one way entrances. Now, I, I'll be completely upfront, guys. I haven't tested this mechanic. But there is a good guy, he's called DD Dennis Show. He's got a channel where he's actually made a video where he, he actually talks about and demonstrates the options on this uh, with this new feature. He's also got a couple of other quite interesting videos related to the actual waste update. So if you want to go out and check out his channel, I will put a link in the video description for anyone who wants to go there. And if you like what he's doing, give him the support and subscribe. So what we've got here, it seems, is a series of pictures. So let me just, yeah. So what we're going to do is take a look at the roundabout first. Because, of course, one of the big bugbears with the roundabouts in the past was the fact that you had to use a, a double width road. So now we can do the roundabout with a single width road, which is possible. And then what you can see in the right-hand side here, we've got a one-way road coming in by the look of it. Or is that a two-way road? That's a one-way road because it's got two arrows going out that way, which then splits into two sections, although that road on the left is going in the against the flow of the traffic. So maybe that is should the arrow should be going the other way. Then at the top there, you can see we've got a, a, a one-way road coming in this way. One branch is going to the roundabout, and then what we've got is a filter road going off of that end there which is, uh, for any of you who live in the UK, I mean, this is a familiar layout for anyone who doesn't live in the UK, who doesn't live with perpetual roundabouts. Uh, apologies, it's it does make sense to us, <laughs> put it that way. Going down to the next picture, what have we got here? What we've got here is, it, oh yeah, we can see you've got a, a road coming off there, coming into the bus station, which is a one-way road. Then we've got another one-way road coming out, which is splitting or it looks like there might be a two-way road coming out that way it's a bit difficult to tell and then you've got a little split off like that yeah uh, i quite like that actually go down to the, uh, the next one might be a bit more informative there you are we can see what we've got here is uh, some examples of road layouts this is interesting and that might relate back to the previous pictures because what we've got here is two single track one-way roads laid side by side 
which could then branch off in one direction. So that might explain uh, this here. That's possible, but don't quote me on that, guys, because obviously I'm looking at this for the first time, the same as you are. So what we got here is we got a road coming in this way. Now this could be a one-way road or a two-way road with the road splitting off in that direction. What we've got here is a, a, obviously it looks very much like a two two lane road with a, one going into this stand here and another one coming out, going back that way. One thing I do like about this, and I think we're going to be encouraged to build these actually, simply because what we've got here is an angle. Because if you've got a right angle junction here, the vehicle has to slow down. What you've got the potential here is to build a sliding axis road in and then an acceleration road out, which will keep the speed of your vehicles up a bit. But I must admit, the one that does fascinate me is this one here, where we've got two roads almost side by side, and they've got kind of end stops to them, which kind of indicates that they're, they're, it's not one road, it's two separate roads. And I think the green line in the center kind of highlights that, and the fact that you've got this road coming off around between that points there. Interesting. So we're just going to dive down to the next paragraph. It says, in addition, we have prepared replacements for old buildings. We are proud to present new road vehicle depot and a rail depot. Furthermore, a longer railroad construction office has been designed. We have also updated the textures of the train cargo station and the bus platforms. These enhancements will bring a fresh modern look to the existing Republic, harmonizing the aesthetic in an existing republic, the texture will be automatically replaced. So we'll just look at this one, and we got the stage cargo station here with some ramps looking a bit more realistic. What I will say, guys, is what what I'm planning on doing in probably just week is I'm going to do a specific video where well, all I'm going to do is just look at the start menu and then go through and look at all these buildings. So I'll be going in a lot more detail on this in a completely separate video. We've got a building in the background uh, that could be a distribution office or the, a new depot, but it's difficult to tell. We can only see half the building there, but I quite like, I'm quite like looking at this. I mean, it's looking good actually. Um, obviously the, yeah, we've got a battery connection coming off the back there. So if we go down here, to the next one, it says, furthermore, we have, have, have a small but special detail to share. The gates of the railroad depots now swing open as our train departs, eliminating the need for constant door replacements. And of course, no doors will ever are ever destroyed by a train in a republic. This is just for you and your rides. However, it's important to remember that regular maintenance of buildings and trains remain essential, for, especially if you, if you activate the maintenance feature. Yep, I've heard that that is a big issue with respect to trains. So we'll just have a look here. Yeah, you can see the train here. I think this will be the thumbnail. As you can see now that the train actually, the doors open and the train comes out. And I would say, yeah, I think what we've got here, in fact, I probably think the, the building in the background could be the depot. And then the building in the foreground, because it's got drop-off points, um, could be a rail distribution office, although it does look a bit small. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely have to take a look at this. The only thing I've heard about, I think um, Bill Joe made a mis note about this when he said about the um, railway construction offices, although they don't specifically mention the rail well, railway construction offices here, that uh, they, they might be in relation to train link. But I'm not, don't quote me on that. Here we are, we've got a picture, it's getting dark, and you can see we've actually got the um, construction train coming out of the construction. Oh, yes, it's, it's a construction depot, isn't it? I actually quite like the look of that depot, actually. It, it looks sort of quite informative. So maybe that is the distribution office in the background there. Oh, pretty cool. Lastly, we have developed a new version of the construction office available in four different sizes. As this update will require increased utilization of these offices, proper placement is crucial for optimum efficiency. The largest option may not always be the most suitable one. Now, this, as far as I know, is actually based on a mod. And apologies offhand, I can't remember who actually did it. And I think it's 8, 12, 16. Is it 8, 12, 16, 24? 
think that's it. Don't quote me on it. Apologies. Again, as I said, I'll be taking a look at these in detail in a separate video. Yeah, construction offices are going to be quite very important going forward. And also the vehicle maintenance depots as well. This is it. So we're just going to move down and read the final paragraphs. We hope that you will enjoy the challenging update. We understand that even the most experienced players will face difficulties. If you have an existing Republic and wish to activate these features, please approach that with caution. And ensure that you're adequately prepared. We acknowledge that some com comrades passes the methodical approach necessary to overcome these challenges and emerge victorious, while others may find that it's an opportunity to learn from failure and start uh, afresh. Now, on this paragraph, guys, um, I will be trying to move over the new update to my Three Rivers series. Now, that will be done in two stages. The first thing I'm going to do is switch, uh, the, uh, switch the update on. We're not going to have maintenance and waste updated. And I just want to see what impact the new update will have on an existing save. So if you're wanting to know about that, hopefully by the end of the week, I will get that video out as well. And the idea is, is just to see what happens if we just shop. My main two areas of concern are research and the farming. And then what will happen is, as I get more knowledge about the waste and the maintenance uh, options, what I will try and do is switch on waste on the Three River Valley series and the maintenance. But of course, sprinkled all around that will be specific videos with um, which will look at sp um, individual features. In the long term, the, I will be starting a new series, but I will hold off on that until I'm 100% happy that I'm familiar with the new mechanics. So let's just read the last paragraph. It says, as always, we encourage you to participate in our test and report any bugs that will provide feedback. The Steam Forum serves as an ideal platform engaging in discussions about the new features and their impact on your gameplay experience. With that, we conclude today's report. Remember to take breaks and enjoy the aspects of life whilst playing. The pause button will preserve your progress until you return. Take care and have fun and stay tuned for further updates. Yes, this is a big report in its own way. And the, I'd say the, the road feature is going to change things quite dramatically. And obviously there's lots of things to look at and we will be looking at this over the next few weeks. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. Any comments, opinions, feel free to chuck it in the, in the video description and we'll have a chat about it. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.